If you're looking for a jolly good time, then hang out with Brian McElhatton. He takes us around town for a spot of tea and a visit to the Haberdasher. It's time for high tea at the Arizona Biltmore. And scones and chocolate, oh yeah, it's pretty much a meal. Mm. Now that really hits you with vanilla. Right at the end. Yeah. yeah. So awesome. So you can imagine how it's going to complement all oh, of the desserts. I can't wait. At the Biltmore, high tea isn't just tea, it's an experience. A sommelier pours several complex and aromatic tea varieties. Delicious scones, cream pastries in the shape of swans, and luscious caramel-filled chocolates. It can be a bit much for a no-frills Midwestern guy like me, but once I tried it, I was all in. First, a lesson in tea sipping. Just a couple fingers. A couple fingers? Pinky up. Oh, yes. Always the pinky up. Always the pinky. And then your first sip. It's rich-bodied, starts off hard, ends on kind of a sweet, spicy note. That's great. If I can do it, anybody can. The tea is offered mm. Sunday through Thursday at noon and 2 in the lobby tea court, just as it has been since 1929. And while you're in the neighborhood, stop by the Valley's first micro haberdashery to make sure you look the part. Bonafide Goods is just one of the 18 locally owned shops settling in at the Biltmore Fashion Park. So what is a haberdashery? A haberdashery is when you walk into the store and everybody knows you by name. You feel very comfortable in there. It's like a little club. The small two to 500 square foot shops will be housed under one roof inside Union, making it your one-stop shop for unique local products. Well, the great thing about Union is because it's all locally owned independent shops, it really has a great community feel in here. Union opens tomorrow. For The List, I'm Brian McElhatton. Cheerio.